Canine Rago is a um, almost two-year-old German Shepherd that was born in Poland. He puts on a badge every day, just like I do. Um, he's my uh, he's my backup. He's my partner. I started Canines for Law because I learned that there's many law enforcement agencies, such as police departments and sheriff's offices, who could not afford a trained canine. I just thought that the men and women that keep us safe and protect us had all the tools that they needed to do their job safely and effectively. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Unfortunately, being a small community, we operate on a small budget. Without Canines for Law, it's unlikely that we would have a canine program. We treat Rago the same way we treat all of our officers, dignity and respect, and want to make sure that he is always protected, he's always safe, he's part of our family. Corporal Hill and Rago have a very strong bond. About a week after Rago uh, was sworn in, we um, stopped the vehicle for a minor equipment violation. Rago was deployed on the vehicle, gave a positive alert to the uh, presence of the odor of narcotics, which gave us access to the vehicle, and two subjects were arrested for a possession of methamphetamine. Canines for Law exists because there is a clear need. There are towns and communities that cannot afford to get a canine unit up and running. They have the same types of crimes and narcotic situations going on as larger areas, and they need assistance and help. It's like a little superhero. He does things inside the, the department like no other officer can. Dogs bring to us already so many natural innate abilities, such as they want to protect people, their loyalty, their endurance, their agility. The canine's ability to differentiate scent is so much more powerful than a human's. The sheer presence of a canine changes the dynamics of a community. I also think dogs keep both sides of the law safe. Um, and I think people really, I think they keep the suspects safe and I think they keep the officers safe. Uh, without Rago, um, I don't know that our narcotics program would be as strong as it is. To watch a canine become part of the law enforcement agency while it's great for this department, while it's great for our agency, it's even better for the community. These dogs are an invaluable asset to the community. Um, if, if one of these dogs goes out and finds just one missing child, there, you can't put a price tag on that. Working canines minimize crime. It's just a fact. The generosity that we've seen has been completely overwhelming. We want to see it grow and we're so excited about the potential because the more canines that are working throughout America, the safer all of us will be. I think we've just scratched the surface of how canines can benefit society with future training and unlocking all the potential. There's no limit to how man's best friend, the working canine, can help us.